If the future is so distant, what is the world going through now? Because the rising temperature provided conditions for the proliferation of snow algae, green snow appeared on the coastline of Antarctica. Greenhouse gases change the developmental trajectory of plants, and insects that colonizing on these plants may also differ behaviorally and physiologically. As the sea ice melts, the polar bears have to work harder to find food. It has been reported in live science that 52 polar bears invade a Russian town to eat garbage instead of starve to death. And climate change brings extreme weather, such as droughts, tornadoes, heavy rains and floods, that seriously affect human life. Let's start with two stories from the past. In the 1970s, people didn't have enough experience with gas leaks. If no action is taken at the time of the accident, a cigarette could set off a terrible explosion. The same story happened in the 1990s, when people had enough experience dealing with gas leaks. Gas leakage accidents can be resolved by taking correct measures in time. Our track record shows that we have the wisdom to tackle any challenge. We are constantly creating new things and solving new problems. Climate issues are much bigger than gas leaks and touch every aspect of our lives. The main elements that contribute to climate change in the living area include randomly turned on lights, TVs, air conditioners and other electrical appliances, and indiscriminate disposal of household waste and other waste. In the production area, the main elements that contribute to climate change include uncontrolled expansion of corporate production, the use of high emission production equipment, and greenhouse gas emissions during production. Communities are equivalent to a composite of living and production areas, covering the main emission elements of both, and in addition, an unreasonable transportation system can also exacerbate the level of carbon emissions in the region. As things stand now, our various production and living facilities are like canisters of greenhouse gases, which are being emitted into the environment all the time. Our production and life will lead to a continuous increase in the number of greenhouse gas canisters, which will seriously affect our sustainable development. We must act to combat climate change, otherwise high carbon emissions at any time and place could cause a greenhouse gas canister to explode, just as a randomly lit cigarette causes a natural gas explosion, resulting in a devastating disaster. So. Are we waiting for the man who lights the cigarette?
as the climate changes, something is constantly changing. Glaciers, in particular, are melting at an accelerated rate. But recently, they seem to be sending a message to mankind to save themselves through amazing ways, and something dramatic is happening. The day I become you. Climate change has had a negative impact on many species of animals. What do you think of it? Yes, one example is the polar bear. Due to changes in weather patterns, there is less sea ice throughout the year. Polar bears need this ice to hunt on. Another example is coral. This reef-building animal is sensitive to changes in the sea temperature. As its temperatures has risen, a large amount of the world's coral has died. What's wrong with you? Why are you so sweating? I'm okay. You look so weak. I think you might be sick. Do you need to go to the hospital? Thank you. I will go later. Then I went to the hospital. I met a mysterious doctor who told me something unbelievable. Doctor, is there something wrong? The examination is done. Nearly almost、uh, all indicators are normal, except for the quality of sleep. Took some sleep regulating drugs will be good. I don't sleep well. I keep waking up because I'm too hot. Are you dreaming a lot? Recently, I often have such dreams. In the dream, I talk to the glacier, even can feel their feelings. I'm so hot. Can someone help me cool down? It's getting hotter, and I can't breathe. My nose feel like they are melting. Why don't you guys turn on the air conditioner to cool it? Where do we get air conditioners? Can you buy one for us? I think I can lend mine to your guys. I don't believe it. It's too hot for me to think. <laughs> ah! I need to turn down the air conditioner. It's too hot. Too hot. Hot. Too hot. Then I woke up. It's too hot. Then I went to turn down the air conditioner. At the same time, I lost pieces of memories. Oh, I know, I know. It won't last long. You are an exchanger. You are going through a special period where you are exchanging souls with a glacier. Don't be nervous. The process is not painful. What? Are you kidding? Over the years, this case has been increasing, and the. Emergency of new exchanger may be related to the environment、uh, and the climate change. We are not quite sure what the mechanism of it. It could be the Earth's self-defense system, or it could be the expression of human empathy at the gene level. However, there are some methods to reverse it. If you really don't want to share a body with the soul of the world, think and act more from the glacier's point of view. It will curb the transformation, and you will be better. So I follow the doctor's advice. Twenty twenty one United Nations Climate Change Conference is coming. In terms of transportation, how to relieve climate change? So, our group have made this promotional video. The Earth is the homeland on which mankind depends. However, the global average surface temperature has gradually increased since the end of the 20th century. With it comes a serious hazard, 
such as mountain glaciers, rising sea levels, frequent extreme weather, and the accelerated spread of the virus. What are the causes of these hazards? We are probably familiar with the effects of global warming caused by emissions of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is linked to population density growth. In addition, emissions from factories, cars, and deforestation are all related to climate change. These phenomena are attributed to the rapid development of urbanization, so that global car ownership has increased dramatically. According to the survey, the transportation industry is one of the key industries of energy conservation and emission reduction, and vigorously promoting new energy and clean fuel vehicles is one of the effective means to deal with climate change from the source. Chinese authorities have also taken measures. As one of the municipalities directly under the central government, Tianjin actively responds to the development and application of the national new energy industry that has achieved good results in urban transportation. Tianjin has issued a series of policies on new energy vehicles. They include the purchase of new energy vehicles will be exempted from restrictions. It is not restricted by the total number of motor vehicles. State and local subsidies exceeded 200 million yuan. Implementation of special parking spaces. Implementing these policies has promoted the skills volume of new energy vehicles in Tianjin to be at the forefront of the skills volume of new energy vehicles in China. It has been widely applied in various fields. For example, more than 3,400 new energy buses have been put into operation in Tianjin, accounting for more than 30% of total transport vehicles. In the post sector, more than 1,300 vehicles have been promoted, ranking first in China. In urban logistics, 14,000 cars have been promoted, becoming an essential model of urban transportation. The field of car rental has maintained rapid growth, with a total of 21,000 vehicles promoted and 243 cars were used in sanitation. So, what do people think about new energy vehicles? Whether the car you use is a new energy car? Yes. What are your reasons for buying new energy vehicles? Good policy, subsidize unlimited number. How is the new energy vehicle use experience? Speed up quickly, environmental protection and clear, but recharging is not convenient, and the mileage is limited. What kind of transportation do you usually choose? Bus or metro? Do you know that changing buses use new energy fuels? Yes. Do you think green travel is necessary? It is necessary because green travel is environmentally friendly and helps slow down the trend of global warming. What is the future of new energy vehicles? Yes, we believe that new energy vehicles help improve the energy structure, slow down the trend of global warming. Gradually, our Earth will restore the vitality of the past. Long, long ago, before human footprints were all over the earth, everything was beautiful. The sky is blue, the grass is green, and the sun is red.
trees are growing freely. Birds are singing in the branches. Butterflies are dancing, and rabbits are running on the grass. Gradually, there were more and more human activities. Tall buildings sprang up from the ground. Factories with black smoke were everywhere. In the city was the roar of traffic. As time passed, with a rapid economic development and rapid population growth, the process of urban modernization is intensified. With the background of global warming and the increase of pollutant emission caused by human activities, the number of heavy pollution weather days in urban areas is increasing. The environmental pollution problem is becoming increasingly serious. Gradually, people realize that the pollution problem is more and more serious. Therefore, they start a series of measures to protect the environment, such as using clean energy, wind generator, solar power generation, and so on. Fortunately, the Earth is slowly returning to its former life. Green mountains, clear water, blue sky, and white clouds are back. We are burned of nature. Every drop of water, every flower. Every breeze and every green are free gifts from nature to mankind. Ecological prosperity leads to civilization prosperity, and ecological decline leads to civilization decline. Green mountains and green waters are gold mountains and silver mountains. Let's work together to protect our earth. No, not really. I don't know that. No, I've never heard of it.、Uh, yes,、uh, it's a little bit. Yeah, of course. Well,、um, previous studies have shown that global warming of two degrees Celsius is above pre-industrial level can keep the Earth stable. But new research suggests that、uh, two degrees Celsius is, is too optimistic, and、uh, 0.5 degrees Celsius is, could have a major impact、uh, on the planet. IPCC's special report on global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius argues that achieving the 1.5 degrees Celsius goal requires significant and、uh, rapid change. 
I think this is a global problem. Mm, there's not much we can do as a college student. Since we know little about the 1.5 degree centigrade target, we had spent some time studying and discussing together on the such background. We then conducted further research in different fields with certain understanding of the 1.5 degree centigrade target. To find out the causes of greenhouse gases, I searched on the internet. The results showed that the combustion of fossil fuel and vehicle exhaust emission are the two main sources. I had interviewed with car owners to ask about their thoughts on vehicle emissions. I also conducted relevant experiments to have an insight into this field. In the era of global warming, being a mouse is better than being a bird. What's the reason for this? Let's go find out the answers. Animals could be smaller, stay underground, or even change migration route to adjust themselves to the rising temperature. But are those responses sufficient enough to survive extinction? Hi guys, I'm Yanghui, and welcome to our Center for Resource, Energy, and Environmental Policy Research, Nankai University. All aspects of human production and life will produce carbon emissions. Therefore, a straightforward and hierarchical accounting method for carbon emission is significant for quantifying and forcing emission reduction targets. We are working for it. Carbon sinks and carbon emissions are like two players constantly playing chess games. Remote sensing can play an important role in refined carbon emissions and carbon sinks accounting. For example, you can use it to monitor carbon dioxide emissions. This is very interesting, isn't it? In addition to completing their basic courses, we would further enrich our knowledge on climate change policies by reading books and searching for information on the internet. We further learned and exploit by holding discussion as well. By review literatures, I found that measures to reduce carbon emissions can be divided into international and individual levels. In order to reduce carbon emissions, countries should strengthen communication and cooperation. The international community should adhere to multilateralism rather than unilateralism. As for the individual perspective, people can adopt low-carbon ways of traveling, such as cycling and less use of private motor vehicles. Here we present six fields of study. Climate change-relevant researches are tightly linked together. Jumping out of campus, we can apply such knowledge to diverse industry to help mitigate climate change. Youth can expand influence over the public through taking part in NGOs' activities and actively promoting as well. Youth is a dynamic, creative and huge group of people. In China, we have about 3,500,000 college students. An offline promotion meetup could provide opportunities for youth to discuss and share ideas on the climate change topic with each other. Or youth could just start a topic on social media to share their thoughts, promoting online discussions on climate action. Non-governmental organizations offer great platform for youth to actively exert influence and take actions in every possible way to understand and take part in climate action. I think we can reduce uh, the carbon emission by uh, ride a bike. Take public uh, transportation more often in daily life. Uh, I think maybe we can uh, take active part in some relevant activities uh, about the carbon emission reduction. You know, youth is a big group of people, so I think as long as we put together, we could uh, contribute to this goal by applying what we learned into practice. <笑>来接受个采访吧 
Chocolate Chips Portion， 这个词儿跟做好。又错了，错了。他们这个资源、能源也玩不好，我们投入贼少，那慢慢投入贼少，我们投入贼少。